How are we doing guys? Uh, Mick here. Um, just a quick video today. Um, basically I was asked by a subscriber, Adventure X UK. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos. Uh, much appreciated. <coughs> um, basically the question was asked, uh, what procedures do I go through regarding siphoning out of my fermenting vessel? and then into my keg basically um, there's a couple of ways you can do it um, there's one way is excuse me it's obviously this bucket's not got the beer in it's got steriliser in the bottom and a few bits is to basically get that back. Let's get a siphoning tube excuse the liquid there's a little, a little pipe a filter on the end, you can pick these up from most stores, Wilco's, homebrew shops. It's got a house hose to it. You basically put that into there. That's, imagine that's got your that's got your brewing, a little clip just there. Just clips onto the side of your bucket, your filters in the bottom. Give it the old suck on it straight into your barrel job done automatically siphons into your barrel and it takes a little bit of time it does it does the job um, there's the other way which is up here I've just sterilized this which is just behind me which is the one I'll be doing tonight which is a auto siphon um, it's just a case of just putting it in the bucket, giving it a little pump, straight up, no sucking, nothing, straight into the barrel. It's a lot quicker as well because it's got a bigger hose on it. Um, and then obviously, I've got my brewing mixture with sugar. That's been put in some hot water, um, dissolved, left to cool down. So that'll be doing basically straight into my barrel, it's approximately 200 grams millilitres of water probably 150-200 grams of sugar not a mega amount, just enough and that should basically do the 20-23 to 23 litre barrel which I've got to what I'm going to be putting in there um, so uh, let me just see if I can find somewhere suitable to put this chuffing phone. I have to get my proper camera out. Let me just turn that round. Right, that's not really ideal. Sorry about the dodgy camera work, friends, guys, girls, everybody. Right. What I have here is basically a Geordie. Basically, it's basically a Geordie mild kit. Um, I use Safeout SO4 on it rather than the yeast that came with it. I also had it added a hundred one kilo of brew enhancer, five hundred grams of brewing sugar, thirty grams of Chinook, and thirty grams of Hercules. Um, it's been in there what probably ten days now, ten eleven days. I didn't take an, a, a gravity reading of it because it's a kit. I tend to just get the same, unless it's more brewing sugar, I suppose, but. It should come out about four and five percent, hopefully. Um, so what I'm going to do now, obviously, take the lid off. We'll stick that down there. Um, yes, they're hops. It's not mould. It's not infection. They are actually the hops. I just chucked them in, dry hopped them, um, and I'm hoping. That the 
auto siphon filter won't suck all the hops through. I don't disturb it too much though, it shouldn't be too bad. So let's just put that down a bit. Just, just stick that in there. Simple procedure. There's no sucking on this. Straight into my barrel. I mean, you can get one of these. I mean, I paid about 12 quid for this from my local homebrew shop in Milton Keynes. One, two pumps, job done. It's that simple. That is now filling my barrel. It's quite a simple procedure. There's no mess, or well, there's not meant to be any mess. So, obviously I've got my brewing sugar mixture there. I've got a glass here, which I'm gonna have a sample of it. I haven't had the mild kit before. I do like my dark beers. There we go. It's, uh, it's looking quite dark, a little bit of hop in there. Won't do any harm. So well, that's emptying that. Certainly getting hops there. Not a massive amount. Yeah. Got the bloody hops end, innit? Gob full of it. I tell you what, though. Definitely tasting the Chinook on that. Chinook, helicopter -y thing. It's not really, you know what I'm saying. Hey, tastes half good, oh, not too bad that. So it's gone straight out of the barrel. I should have put it in the secondary, really. But it'll be all right. They'll sink to the bottom. They always do, eventually. So, yeah, that then takes, what? Five minutes, probably less than that. There we are, half empty. Um, what else have we been up to this week? Posted some beer mail off to Ireland. Greg, I'm not sure he's got it. I wasn't 100% sure on that address he gave me, but it cost a tenner, so it doesn't matter. Um, Brewing-wise, I've got the Cooper Stout, which is down there, which is coming along nicely, should be due any day now. I've also got my, excuse me, my um, Turbo Cider, which I also hopped with Hercules. And then I went and chucked the pumpkin, the meat out of the middle of the pumpkin, straight into it, even though it had been fermenting for two, three days. So that went in afterwards as an addition. So it'll be interesting to see how that one turns out. Um, other than that, I've got to, not a lot to talk about really. Um, I've got to do my LGV or is it, which one is it? Yeah, LGV theory, because I'll go through all that pretty soon. Works paying for that, CPC and LGV or whatever it is, I don't know, I've no idea. Can't chuffing wait. Um, well, while we're sat here waiting for that, let me put that back just there. There we go. Shall we pour a beer? This is one of my all grain stouts. I won't do it all grain style. Let's do a cider. Bit of carbonation there, or well, not a massive amount, but a 
just excuse my uh, camera work. There. This is the one I made with the real apple wood, I think, if I remember rightly. Nice, clear looking, golden looking pint. Oh man, that's nice. Right. So, we're now getting to the last bit of the bucket. Yeah, approximately 20 or so litres went in there, 23 litres. I think the pump's still going. There we go. That wasn't me by the way, honest. I have trumped on camera before, but that definitely wasn't me. And that's definitely not my guts either. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that just pissed down my leg. Um, so basically, yeah, that's probably a litre in the bottom of there, but that's why the hops are in. Um, I've got my lid somewhere. Where did I put my lid? Where did I put my lid? Oh, it's there. It's hiding behind the other bucket. Um, an SC30, brand new one. Got it from my local home brew shop, paid £12, £11-£12. Put a bit of Vaseline on the inside around the seals. Stops it sticking, gets a better seal, seal on it. Um, basically, I'm now going to add the sugar and water. Approximately 200 grams of water there. Straight in. Put the lid on. And that's your lot. That is basically it. Quite tight. It'll go in the airing cupboard or somewhere warm for about a week. Um, after about a week, I should probably bring it back down here, leave it in the garage, so cool, nice cool area. Seems to be a quite constant temperature in here this time of year. You can get an average anywhere from 10 degrees in the day to probably a lot less than that in the night, but not a lot, lot less. But if worse comes to worse, I'll get my heat pads out. But I shouldn't need it for that anyway. So, Adventure X UK, I hope that helps you out. Um, thank you for subscribing. Have a day look at his channel. I would put a link down below, but I don't know how to do it because I'm on my iPhone. Um, and thank you very much. Cheers, guys.